Hey there, Odooers. Today, we're talking about how to create, configure, and rent any product with the Odoo rental application. So, let's get our rental business rolling using Odoo. From the main Odoo dashboard, let's jump into the rental application. The first thing we see is the rental orders dashboard, which displays all the rentals in a default Kanban view. Each rental card shows the customer's name, price of the rental, related sales order number, and the current status. On the left, there's a sidebar with the various rental and invoice statuses present. Selecting any of the option filters displays the results on the dashboard to show only rentals that fit that chosen category. And like any other dashboard, you can view these records in a number of different ways by changing the view icons here in the upper right corner. To learn more about the available settings, check out our documentation, which is linked in the description. All right, now I'll show you how to create a rental product. To do that, I'll click on the products button in the header menu. And let's say we wanna start renting bicycles to our customers. We got a great deal on 20 of them recently and they just showed up. So let's create a bicycle rental product. To create a new rental product, all we have to do is click new in the upper left corner and give this product a really creative name, something like hmm, bicycle. That's fitting. You'll notice this is like any other product form in Odoo. However, the rental checkbox is ticked by default. And just like any other product form, we can modify these fields and tabs however we'd like. But for the sake of time, let's just focus on the rental prices tab. In the pricing section, we can create price points for various periods of time that the product will be rented. It's typical for companies to give a slight discount for longer periods. So let's start by clicking add a price and add our hourly price, which will be for $5. If we hit enter, we can add another line and add our daily rate, which will be for 20 and if we hit enter again, we can add our weekly price, which will be for $90, which is a pretty good price if you ask me. Then we'll click away. And it should be noted that these periods can be created and customized in the rental periods page located under the configuration menu. However, in the reservations section here, we can add certain fees for an extra day and or hour if we'd like, but we'll leave that alone for now but we will add a one hour security time. This makes the product unavailable to rent for one hour before pickup, just to make sure we have enough time to make sure all the bikes are working properly once they're returned. And since we just got 20 of these bikes delivered, let's click on the on hand smart button at the top of the page. And in the new quantity on hand field, we'll type 20 and hit apply. And that is how you configure a rental product and its rental rates. Now, let's run a product by clicking on orders and orders once again. And then we'll click on new to open a fresh rental form. Let's say our pal, Abigail Peterson, just walked in and she'd like to rent one of our new bikes for a couple days. No problem. First, all we have to do is add Abigail in the customer field. Then we'll click the second date in the rental period field and make this for two days. And then we'll click apply. Doing so automatically updates the duration field below to read two days. Then all we have to do is add a product by hitting add a product and let's add our bicycle. And you'll see our $20 a day rate is applied accurately in the untaxed amount, which shows $40. Oh, Abigail just informed me that she actually only needs to rent the bike for one day instead of two. No worries, Abby. I'll simply open that second date once again change it to one day in the rental period and click apply. Then all I have to do is click the update rental prices button to ensure she's getting an accurate price. And then after I hit okay in the confirmation pop-up, you'll see that the price is now accurately a $20 a day rate with a total of $20 since it's only one day. Perfect. I could send this to her via email by clicking on the send by email button but she's right here and she said it looks good. So let's just go ahead and click confirm. Doing so will reveal the green booked tag in the upper right corner of the form, along with a new collection of buttons and a delivery smart button at the top. When we click the delivery smart button, we see two delivery orders to track that the product has left and returned to the inventory. One going out representing which will pick up the rental and one going in representing when she returns the bike. So let's click back on the sales order via the breadcrumbs and continue the workflow.
Now, it's our policy to have customers sign a rental agreement before picking up a rental. So let's click on the Sign Documents button. Then after we confirm the document template and click the Sign Document, we're presented with another pop-up window for information to confirm. If everything looks good here, all we have to do is click Sign Now. Using the Odoo Sign application, the customer complete this rental agreement. So they'd click, click to start, and then click next after confirming their name, and then next once more to digitally sign the document. As you can see, they can go with the auto sign, they could draw their own, or load a signature. But this auto default looks good, so let's click sign to complete. Now to complete the rental agreement form after signing, they just need to click the validate and send completed document button. Once we do, we are presented with the option to download the signed doc for our records, but we can bypass that now and just click close. That directs us to our templates page where we can create and modify similar agreements. But for now, let's just go back to orders and then orders again and reopen Abigail's order. So to complete this flow here, on our form of the chatter, we can see that her rental agreement has been signed and a copy of it is available for review. Awesome. All right, so as we said, Abigail is here ready to take the bike with her. In that case, all I have to do is click the pick up button on the form. And I'll confirm the details on this delivery form of the product going out by clicking validate. And then we can return to the order via the breadcrumbs. You'll notice there is now a picked up tag on this form. This info is also present on the main rental dashboard as well. Now, let's say a day has passed and Abigail shows up to return the bike. In that case, I'll just click the return button at the top of the form and click validate to confirm that the bike's been returned. Then we can return to the SO once more via the breadcrumbs at the top. And once we do, we'll see a return tag at the top right of the form. And the flow is now officially complete. And there we have it, folks. That's how you create, configure, and rent products of any kind using the Odoo rental application. See you in the next video.